Breaking news, Nebraska has announced the last piece of the depth chart that was missing. The starting cornerback alongside Tommy Hill will be Marquise Buford for the 2024 season. So in today's video, I'm going to give you my instant reaction to that news, why this is a good thing for the black shirts, some of my concerns, and everything else in between. So really quick, we have a lot to discuss today. Make sure to hit that like button. If you're excited to watch this black shirt defense, I know I am. And hey, if you're new to the channel or just a returning viewer, make sure to subscribe. I post a video talking Nebraska football every single day. Day and I'm not stopping at all. So join the best family here on Husker YouTube and hit that subscribe button. It would help me out greatly. But without further ado, let's get into it. Talking about Marquise Buford and him starting at cornerback for the Huskers this year. So this was honestly a little bit of an interesting move by Matt Rule. Of course, we know that Buford, over his four years with Nebraska, has always been a safety, playing that free safety spot. They move him down to corner. And one of my big concerns about this is Marquise Buford has not played corner since prep school. It's been four years since he's played that position. So it takes a little bit of getting used to to get back in the rhythm. We know he's been practicing a little bit at corner throughout fall ball. He was not practicing there in spring ball. So hopefully he can get back to that level that we know we can play at. But as for him on the field, I feel really confident about his abilities. And this really tells you a couple of things, how deep this safety room is. Four safeties on Nebraska's football team have single-digit uniforms. Now, if you're not a fan of the Huskers, that means they're the best of the best. That means they're the biggest leaders on the team. That's a big deal. You can't fit four safeties on the field at one time. So they have Isaac Gifford playing the rover. And then they're going to move Marquise Buford down to corner. So at the end of the day, Matt Rowe wants to put all his playmakers on the field. I respect that. He says Marquise Buford is too good to put him on the bench. We're going to put him there at corner. But I do think it's a concern that we have not seen him play cornerback in four years. And when he did play that, it was at a prep school level. Certainly not against Big Ten wide receivers one-on-one -on -one in man coverage. So definitely something to note there about Marquise Buford, just kind of his lack of experience, at least at a Big Ten level, playing that position. Also, it tells us that Bly Hill is not ready. So he's back. He is looks like 100% healthier. That was the complete narrative because he's not in the yellow jersey at practice. But it looks like he's not completely healthy at this point in time because if he was, he likely would be starting. I don't think they would move Marquise Buford down to corner if Bly Hill is ready to go. So again, make sure to keep tabs on that Bly Hill situation because he's going to probably be a game time decision whether he plays that UTEP game or not. So Marquise Buford at least will start at corner two to begin the season. Now, does that stay the same way as we get into the later half? I doubt it once Bly Hill gets back. Once Sierra Wright starts to um, get fully in grasp with the defense, I've really been hearing some good things about Sierra Wright, specifically this week in his performance. We'll get to that Sunday, of course. Um, but yeah, Marquise Buford at corner. Again, kind of a risky move with a guy who's a very good safety. But just because you're a good safety does not mean you're a good cornerback. We've seen that time and time again. And hopefully he can make that transition. So again, last thing I want to mention, I told you guys all summer, how bad I believe this cornerback room was. Nobody was talking about it. Everybody's like, oh, I'm worried about the linebackers. I'm worried about the running backs. I'm worried about the O-line. I've been telling you since April, watch out for this cornerback room because there's really a lack of depth, specifically with Bly Hill being down. This tells you just that, that Matt Rule is not confident in his corner room. He's not confident in any of the true freshmen. And he's willing to move a safety out of his position to put an extra guy in the field rather than put that freshman corner in a position uh, where he might not succeed. So, yeah, that is a big storyline for the Huskers. Again, that safety depth is good. The linebacker depth is good. The defensive line depth is good. Just not the corner room. All right, Marquise Buford will be starting at corner alongside Tommy Hill, at least for the first couple of games. Let me know down below, what do you think about this move? Just some of your concerns, something uh, optimistic. Let me know in the comment section. And hey, if you made this far on the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And as always, folks, go be great, go Matt Rule, and see you in the next one.